Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Commissioner Scott coming to you live from NEL Studios, man. What's good? Just want to drop in and give y'all a couple of notes about something I've been thinking about, man, as far as parenting. And you know, not necessarily being a parent because I don't have any kids. But, you know, if you're an elder male in the family, I got a question for you. When's the last time you called your little niece, your little nephew, your little cousin, somebody in the family that needs some guidance? Are you checking in? So this is the Commissioner Scott official public announcement for checking in. If you're an elder male in the family, if you're an older male in the family, are you doing your part to make sure that the young people in your family got guidance? They have direction. You know, even if they have parents, sometimes the parents might not know how to be effective parents because of their parenting and what they were exposed to. But if you got the right mindset and the right cognizance to give direction and parenting, whether you're a parent or not, or just checking in to see and letting the kid know that, hey, you care about them, that's what the expectation is. So if you're watching this video and you are a uncle, older cousin, or even if you're a father, when's the last time you checked in with your child, with your little cousin, with your nephew, with your niece, to see if they're okay? They might need something. They could need some money. So maybe you need to provide money management skills for them, right? Or they could just need to know that you care about them. So pick the phone up and call them. Hey, so-and-so, how you doing? How your grades doing? I just called to check in and see what's good with you. Everything good? Okay, bet. Have a nice day at school. Have a nice week at school. Keep it moving. How much did that cost anybody? A little bit of time, right? Not a lot, not a lot of money, a little bit of time. So look, I'm telling y'all, man, we don't get together and make sure that we being the leaders that we're supposed to be in our home and in our community. You know, some of these kids gonna be lost out here. Again, if you're an older male, if you're the elder male in the family, and you're watching this video, I want you to check yourself realistically, because I do it all the time too. Ask yourself, when is the last time I called my sister? See how she was doing. I called my mother to see how she was doing. I called my little niece to see how she was doing. I called my little cousins to see how they doing, right? So we especially need to pay attention to the young males out here because, man, if you're not providing that guidance, they're going to get it from somewhere else. Maybe TV, maybe a rap video, maybe something they've seen on the movies, maybe a video game, or maybe that little negative friend they're hanging around that they think is their friend that's really not their friend, right? So I'm calling for all the males to stand up. It's time to be leaders out here. Start in your house, though. If you got kids, you got a woman at the crib, lead them. Even if they don't want to listen to you, lead them. Tell them what they need to do. Understand what their problems are. Come up with solutions for it. If you don't got the solution, you know, talk to the right people to get the solutions. Figure something out. There's no reason why if you got kids, they, they should be hungry. And not have a roof over their head. I'm being straight up. Like, feed your kids, man. If you have children, feed them. If you have children, make sure they got a place to stay at. And an environment. That's the basic stuff. We ain't talking about the nurturing and all that stuff that they really need. Right? You can get into that as well. But make sure you're providing the basic stuff they need to be successful. Right? I grew up in the projects. My mama always made sure, and my stepdad always made sure I had what I needed. I had food, I didn't go to school hungry, I never had to worry about that. And even though we lived in the projects, you know, my house was a home. It was a comfortable environment. I had food, you know, I went out on the streets. I had clothes, really nice clothes. I even had video games, Atari 7800, which y'all know about that, right? But I had the nurturing and the care and, and the protection that I needed. 
even though I was living in the projects. So it really doesn't matter what your environment is like. It's about what's inside of the environment, what's inside of the door, right? Again, I'm challenging all the males out there. You belong to some part of a family, right? So whether you get along with your cousins, whether you get along with your sisters or your brothers, if they have children, make sure that you're available for them just to talk if they need to talk so they understand that someone cares about them, all right? We can't let another generation of kids grow up not having the support that they should have. And it's just because you guys are forgetting to do simple things, right? So it's communication, showing that you care. If you got the finances to help them with a couple of things or two, and if you decide to give it to them, make sure they're understanding. And I'm not just giving this to you. I need you to learn the lesson associated with it. So you can go out there and get it yourself, right? We're all just passing through here. We're not going to be here forever. But it is our job, our responsibility to prepare the next generation of children to be the next generation of adults. And then they're going to have to be doing the same thing. All right. So everybody step up. I'm talking about the males, particularly the moms will let somebody else talk about them because I'm not I'm not a female. I'm not a mom. I don't have any kids, but I do father a lot of kids because I give them what they need, whether it's internationally or within the states. You know, sometimes they just need hope. They need some discipline. When they get out of line, you got to get them back in line. Right. I ain't talking about just beating them either. I'm talking about talking about the problem, coming up with the solutions. A solution. In a sense, engineering, helping them understand how to solve problems at an early age. All right. So that's what the expectation is. You know, pass this video around so other males can step up. Let's start leading our homes and our communities. It's Commissioner Scott. I'm out. I wanted to talk about some technical stuff today, but. My spirit led me to talk about that because we got to start engineering and solving the root cause of some of these problems out here in society, not just from a technical standpoint. Let's start in the home. Males, lead. Start leading, all right? If you are a good leader within the home, congrats. You know, encourage others to do some of the things that you're doing. You got the solutions, all right? But if you're not and you don't know anything about male leadership, Hey, pull out chat GPT and type in how do I become an effective and positive male leader within my home? Go to chat GPT. Go to Google. Google. How can I become an effective male leader within my home and my community? So the answers are out there, right? Or ask another elder male that you look up to and that you respect. Solutions are out there, all right? That's the challenge. Everybody get busy. It's Commissioner Scott. I'm out.